and hello everyone welcome back to another pascal tutorial so in this tutorial we'll be taking a look at enumeration values so these will be values that might store multiple things this is more like a sub tutorial uh, we're not going to dive too deep into it but it will show you a few cool features so let's first start with something basic let's say we want to do this so now we have a name and oh let's go first name and this first name is a string now the issue here is let's say we don't want to use the string value here and this is a very basic example but sometimes your types and stuff it could become a long list of things that you have to type so let's say you want to change this string here so you don't have to say string anymore we can then say type and in here, say text is equal to string. Now, and take note, this is not becomes, this is equal. And then now we can say text. And this will still work if I go first name becomes uh, whatever that is. We can still write line first name without an issue. So here we get AJCAS. So it still works. We could even go here and say XXX and do it here. So it doesn't have to be related at all and it will still work. So this is just an example. Generally, you don't want to change something as basic as string. To give you a more impressive value that you, or something that you can do is let's say you want all the years in the month or all the, all the years, all the months in the year. There you go. So now, this value, this type you define can only contain these values. So when we go here and say month and month is of type months, then now if we were to say month here instead of first name, then here we can't say this. This is not going to be allowed. If we try and run this, we get this error. But we can go something like MAR because that's a valid value here. Now if we run this, we get MAR. So this is a way you can almost define your own types. In some languages, this specific example might be known as an enum. So a value where you can only have specific values in it. But yeah, that's a story for a later date. Now let's to take a look at subranges. These are kind of the enumerations I was talking about earlier. So I'm going to get rid of type here. And let's say point. So this is the point someone can score on a test. One to 100. So we're saying someone can score points on a test from the values one to 100. That means we can go here and say points and we can say that becomes 100. That will be perfectly fine. If I were to print out points, we'll get 100. But if I were to say, uh, let's say 110 and run it, it will tell us we have one warning. Because 110 is not a valid value in points. It won't throw a compilation error because this is just sub ranges. So it's not that big of a deal if it's a little different. However, we will get a warning. So if we were to say 90 and we were to run it, we won't get a warning anymore, as you can see. You can do the same for something such as, let's say the alphabet. So let's go alpha. And here we could say this is the values from A all the way to Z. And you later on see that this can be especially useful for checking. If you're coming from a Delphi course, you might remember this and you might remember this checking can be very useful. And in here we could say this is the letter L. If we were to print this out, we'll get the letter L. And here we could have P and that will allow us to have the letter P. And yeah, that's the basics for this tutorial. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all again in the next Pascal tutorial.